guys. Hi. How are you? Big test for you, wasn't it? Yeah, very, very never done something like that before, so... Yeah, bit of, feel, bit of out of your comfort zone, yeah. Unknown to you, you've actually been tested twice. I sent in my secret diner. <laughs> and this is what happened. On the coach trip, they let my diners down with over-fussy food and service, but have they learned from their mistakes? Hi there. Your appetite is for you, which is was with some mackerel tart and ratatouille. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, we didn't, ask, we didn't ask for these. They just came to us. First off, great welcome. Amuse Bush arrives at the table, didn't ask them, gets put down, and bang, they start eating. Uh, you'll find three different menus, but only two are available. You have the very first one, which is the lunch menu. And then if you turn the page over, you'll see a red ribbon. Uh, on the right of the red ribbon, you'll see the menu surprise. That's the one that we only do in the evening. Oh, yeah, OK. A good excuse to have to come back. Uh, <laughs> on the left-hand side, uh, however, you'll find the a la carte, which is fully available as well. We start with the main courses, and then you'll find the desserts at the back of the uh, menu surprise on the following page. Exhausting. The menu's big, imposing huge descriptions. It's long-winded, it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier, and they just want to be left alone. All right, let's go that way. Right, so we get another amuse, amuse bouche. There's three things we've had so far that we haven't ordered. And I'm beginning to feel like I've really started to eat now, and we haven't had the first of our three courses. I hope you don't bring us another amuse bouche. Otherwise, I will be unamused, Boosh. One is a really nice gesture. Great opener. Sets the tone for what's happening next. But any more than one, and it looks like you're trying too hard. Uh, roasted lobster. That's when the lobster risotto in the top. Garnish with uh, and serve with uh, salted morons. Finish with the lobster biscuits. And the uh, side, the chocolate lasagna. You have the parmesan cheese. Thank you. Enjoy. I can't believe he did that. I was so annoyed. When he pointed out that Moral mushroom, I swear his finger virtually touched the mushroom, if not touched it. I don't, you know, it's some, I don't want someone coming in and pointing their finger over my food and going, oh, that's that, that's that. Bugger off. Food is exquisite. You need to look at your service. You need to really just rein that in and bring a breath of fresh air in there and you'll surprise yourself and, more importantly, attract a different clientele which you've been slightly nervous of going for. Let's go. It was great to get feedback from Gordon. It was great for him to say to me, you know, I mean, it's Gordon Ramsay telling you what's great about your cooking, what's not so good about it, and, and what to fix about it. And anyone who can say negative things about it is great, because that means we can analyze it, work it, do we need to change it? It's great feedback, you know, it's, it's, it, that is priceless.